Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a cheap and easy way to get a PWM uh, pulse width modulator. And the easiest way to get one is just to use a drill, a, a battery powered drill uh, trigger. These are pulse width modulators and this one has the MOSFET on the outside hooked to a heat sink. And this one has, has it on the inside with this piece of metal as a heat sink. And they work pretty well for being drill triggers. And I will put the link over to show you guys that it is a pulse with modulator. And to demonstrate, I just have four pieces of steel stuck together and just a teaspoon of salt in there. And I'll come back and show you it running with my uh, ATX power supply. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you it without the pulse width modulator first, and then put the pulse width modulator on and show you it with it. And this water is going to get murky because it is uh, top water, and these aren't stainless steel plates, so they are just plain steel. And I'll go ahead and show you it. As you can see, it produces pretty well. And you can see the water starting to get murky. Go ahead and show you it with the pulse width modulator now. Okay, now this is with the uh, drill trigger. And you can see it produces quite a bit more. And then you can see how dark and murky it's getting pretty fast. And you don't want to be using the power supply on uh, any big cells because it really does pull, pull down my power supply quite a bit. And I only run it for about a minute or two at the most and because it's not built for any big loads or anything like that. 